Hello everyone, welcome back. It is hot today. It is hot today. Jeez. Extremely hot. Matter of fact, there's a, I checked the weather. It's in the 90s, but it's the real feel is like up to 110 or something. Very hot and humid today. And I'm leaving <laughs> at, at a time when uh, the sun is at its highest. It's probably its hottest as well. But uh, one of the reasons I'm doing that is I am, I have the Flexi Freeze vest on. So I'm gonna give it a shot. I'm not gonna go out for a very long time. It's gonna be a very short time. But uh, maybe I'll work up a sweat or not. I don't, I don't know. And uh, I'm gonna take a shower today anyway. So here we go. I'm just gonna go off to a local ride. The school lunch is will start Monday, so starting Monday, I'll be back to doing whatever it is. Oh, got to start the bike. There we go. All right, so I'm gonna go out this way. All right, going out this way. All right. Oh, <laughs> I'm leaving at the high noon, high noon, which is, turns out to be almost two o'clock. Jeez. Okay. So I'm gonna go in the back roads again. So I'm not gonna be on the street too much other than to get to the back roads. So I'm not going to be speeding all that much. And uh, Red Mini is good for like little back roads, fire roads, going up uh, inclines because uh, it has a smaller wheel, so it has that torque. Ooh, it is hot. I feel like I'm getting, I feel like I'm in a sauna. Or I got, I got like, like the hair dryer on high blowing on me all the time. It is hot. Okay, green light. I'll start pedaling here. I'm not gonna go that far. I'm gonna actually just go over to the levee system. So I'm not going to be uh, trying to pedal hard or anything. I'm listening to my Amazon Prime music. So, got some music going on while I'm doing this. So, Flexi Freeze Vest. Ooh. I would be sweating by now. Right about now, I'd, I'd probably be sweating. When I walked out the door of the house today, Oh, I could feel it. I knew today was going to be hot because uh, in the morning, 9 o'clock, at 9 o'clock, the AC, the compressor was already running. So I knew right away that uh, it was going to be a hot day today. All right. Oh, here we go. Going down a slope. Oh. This is how I get around the uh, fence. Let me get up, lower the gear, uh, stand up a little bit. It'll make it. It'll make it. Oof. Oof. Okay, now I gotta lower the pedal assist. It gets kind of bumpy right here. I'm just gonna go around. I'm gonna take a look. Let's uh, go down to pedal assist three, gear four. Maybe gear five. Okay. Ooh. It does get very bumpy. At least they cut the grass, which is nice. It gets really uh, annoying when the, the tall grass hits up against you. That's why I wear the compression tights. The suspension seat post is very helpful. 
and the front suspension fork very helpful as well I don't know how fast I'm going but yeah that's pretty bumpy uh, all right <laughs> I'm on gear five, pedal assist three. There we go, keeping up the cadence. There's a little lake around here. I don't, too small for me to kayak. I mean, it's not much of a lake, more like a retention pond. Let's go out to the, uh, I don't know, is that the electric station or power station? Oh. like a smooth ride so far. Well, it feels like a smooth ride because of the uh, suspension fork and the suspension seat post. Uh, otherwise it would be pretty, pretty very bumpy. There's the power station. They just built this actually. This is all built. This is all built. Brand new. Have it going to the other side over there. Uh, tighten my helmet just a little bit. Felt a little loose. All right, let's get going. Staying on this side of the uh, levy system today. Ugh. Depends how much time I have, I I might come back around and take this uh, gravel trail they got down there. going pretty decent speed. I must be going like at least 12 to 13 miles an hour, which is not too bad on a on a road like this. Normally if you had a, a regular bike, you'd probably be only going about eight, five to eight miles an hour probably on the lowest gear. I'll look for birds or maybe alligator, but I don't want to go over to the edge. You can see the edge over there, they don't, the uh, grass is overgrown, the brush is overgrown. I like to keep a low resistance on the tire, stay up here where, the, where they cut the grass. Just follow a line where the tire tracks or tractors kind of go. So far, it's, it's a bumpy ride, but suspension fork, seat posts really help. All right. Oh man, I can feel that hot air. Man, I feel the hot air. Woo. But I'm still not sweating. I'm not sweating as much, I should say. I'm starting to get, I'm starting to feel the heat from the sun. The flexi freeze vest Ooh. makes a difference. I'd be sweating right now. Sweat dripping away. Ooh, the water is kind of low. Let's slow down here. The water is low right here. I probably have to water the grass. I can see some birds out there flying. Cranes, herons. Let me see, where should I go? Uh, let me go down here. There we go. They left it open here. Usually they leave this open. Nobody comes out here that far. But they got a bob wired fenced off here, so that's why I'm coming up here this way.
They, I see they have the, uh, the little bridge over the uh, levee open. Looks like they built the drainage out here. Looks like they're going to be building something out here, a commercial building. They left the, the gate open. I'll go across it real quick. I've been down here before. Going up an incline, so I have to lower the gear up the pedal assist. There we go. Uh, pedal assist down. A little overpass for tractors, I guess. It's supposed to be a park here, but I don't know what it is. It's more like a retention pond. It's dry. Whew, it is dry. If it's this dry out here, I'd probably have to water my grass. So anyways, I'm gonna go back up. Before I get up there, get going, I want to check my time here. I'm going to check my time real quick. Yep. Alright, I'm making good on time. Doing good on time. All right, I gotta probably pedal assist up, gear down a little bit to get up this incline. Okay, let's go. Let's use a little bit of throttle. Go down and pedal assist one or gear one. Come on, pedal assist five, gear one. Oh yeah. And then we're at Sonic. I'm not going to buy anything. I'm not going to buy anything. I'm just out here to ride a bike. Although a slushy would feel good, but I'm actually not hot right now. I'm actually not that hot. I feel the hot, warm air blowing at me, but it kind of feels good with the Flexi Freeze vest. Now, okay, yeah. All right, they, they do have a sidewalk here but they blocked it off down there. Okay. Looks like they are building something. They're always building something. This is all brand new. Looks like they're gonna have some commercial buildings out here. Looks like they built the parking lot already. I'm gonna go ahead and just... Oh, there, there is no more sidewalk after this. All right, let's go to Piddle Sys 5, gear seven. Get up to speed. Oh, there is a sidewalk. It's just that they blocked it off. I'm gonna try to get on the sidewalk somehow. I'm gonna figure out how to do that. I think there's an opening right here. Uh, is there an opening down there? There might be an opening. There is an opening. Good. All right. Head back to the power station. By taking the decomposed gravity <laughs> granite trail. Just right here. Just
sometimes on days like this where I don't have to go anywhere, I'm not picking up food or anything. I just like taking little gravel trails like this or the levee system. I just like riding. Before I go up the pedal assist, uh, keep it on pedal assist three, gear seven. Let my legs push off. Some, some poop. Some poop in the road here. Just taking little gravel trails like this. It's, it's fun. And I get to use it all by myself. Isn't that cool? Mostly all by myself. So, I'm not feeling too hot. I'm feeling really good in the hot air. It doesn't feel that bad. As soon as it hits the, uh, as soon as the uh, airflow hits underneath the Flexi Creek vest, it actually feels cool. to the power station. So I'm going to go around. Go around here. So I'm going to put the pedal assist up. Gear down. Okay. Gear down. I'm going to go up this incline. Go around it. See some birds here. Pedal assist three, gear five now. <laughs> no one's planted these uh, trees for a long time. Jeez, they're just starving. Look at these guys. I wonder if they're still alive. Doesn't matter. They got a they got it fenced off over there, so I have to come, go down this and go back up the levee. Here I go. Oh, geez. Quite a drop. <laughs> Good thing I didn't flip over the handlebars. Oh, the dirt trail. <laughs> I didn't see that. There's there's actually a decomposed granite trail right here as well. <laughs> Let me explore it for a little bit. Hold on. I could have just gone on this here. Hold up, my fender's rubbing. I think I know what's, this. yeah, my fender right here. I should take that, I should take that off <sighs> because I already got the light hooked up. Anyways, let's go ahead and take this. There we go. Let's just ride it. goes out to the, uh, probably to a circuit breaker out here. I'm going to uh, just take it a little easy. I have to go up this levee, just load my gear for it. All right, here I go. It's just straight up. Yes, with pedal assist, everyone. Whew. That was fun. That's what I'm going to check on my time here. See how much riding I can do. All right. I can go for a little bit longer. Now, this one I'm just gonna just throttle. Let's see if my hand can handle it. I'm just gonna throttle. 
What I love about the Rad Mini is the uh, smaller wheels, gives you more torque. The ride's a little bit harder though, I have to admit that. The ride's a little bit harder because of the smaller wheels, but you've got a front suspension fork and a suspension seat post. It's uh, manageable. Just go slow. Sometimes I just like riding this way, just slow. Just keep on going. Let the bike do the work for me using the throttle on an empty road like this. I think I got a cloud cover. It's a little shaded right here because I'm looking at ahead of me and I see uh, I see where the sun's shining through. I'm, I'm about to lose that cloud cover. Seems like it's coming towards me. The cloud is drifting towards me. Oh man, I love those. I, I, I really enjoy days like this, where you get to ride around, or I get to ride around, I should say. <laughs> I don't know if you all get to ride around. I don't know if you're all waiting for your bikes. But yeah, I just like to just sometimes just take it easy. Slow throttle. I'm using the cramp buster to control the throttle. And I'm just cruising right along. My, I can feel the heat on my legs from just riding like this in this position. My, I can feel the heat on my arms. Jeez, my hands. It's really hot. It's really hot. I'm glad I got a visor on. And and uh, I don't personally, I personally don't like full faced helmets, helmets that cover your whole head. I don't really go fast enough. I don't, I don't think I do anyways, but man, you can get really hot wearing that thing. Get some airflow. Airflow really helps cool you down. I have to go uh, down and around that. Uh, yeah, let's just let's full throttle it. Let's see how what happens when I full throttle this thing. I'm not stand. I'm not standing up, but I'm putting a little pressure on the pedal. So if I hit anything big, it's not a big deal. My lace acts as shock absorbers. So the combination of the front suspension fork the rear or the uh, seat post, they work together on my legs as shocks. Alright, we got it on the lowest gear. Is it muddy right there? Yeah, it's a little muddy right there, so I'm going to go onto the concrete side here. Hopefully it's not too slippery. Just making sure I don't slip. Or the tires don't slip. Okay. Go. I guess I. Well, I'm gonna head to the fitness center. Is what I'm gonna do. Hold on here. I got one more thing I want to do. I'm gonna go around. I turn around here. Okay. Check my time. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna go to the fitness center, do a little bit of workout. Or, or I could end the video right here. <laughs> I'll probably end the video right here. I'll make another video here and uh, head out to the, to the fitness center. Or I'll just end the video and I'll just head out to the fitness center and enjoy the rest of my day and the rest of my ride. Uh, please like, share the video, leave a comment, leave a comment. Let me know what you do on hot days like this. I'm wearing the Flexi Freeze vest. It makes a big difference. Wow, I can't believe um, I'm barely sweating. Of course, I have an electric bike, 
but if I didn't have this flexi freeze vest, I would be sweating more. It'd be unbearable. So I'm gonna head out to the fitness center. I'm gonna I'm gonna take that incline. I'm gonna take that incline up there and go up that way and uh, head out to the outdoor fitness and do a little workout and ride some more. And well, I'll see you all later. Enjoy riding your bike. Bye.